Hey everybody! So some of you may have seen my video already. It was called, uh, I believe it was called my Perfect Packing Pistol VR for video response. And that was to another friend of mine here on YouTube, a guy I've been subscribed to for a long, long time. Longer than even I've had this channel here. And his name is Oil the Gun. And Oil the Gun did a video showing his perfect packing pistol, which I think may have been a Glock 26, if I can remember. But uh, I didn't think to bring the gun in here with me to, to remind you guys, but mine was the Ruger LCR, the lightweight compact revolver. And unbeknownst to me, when I did a video response, because I thought it was a cool video idea, I was actually entering a contest. And I happen to win, and this is going to be an unboxing of said contest. So, uh, like I said, nobody knew the contest was going on until after the fact. And I thought that was a pretty neat way of doing it. But we're going to unbox this now, and we're using the small 21 Sabenza, the Freedom model. Hold on guys, one second. Okay, just making sure all is well. There you go. Okay, so this is a Kershaw knife that I won. Where'd it go? There we go. Vicente Fonte. And it's funny, because I just sold that uh, cranberry color Vicente Fonte that I had. And it was a knife I never thought I would sell. I just really liked it. So this was cool to be able to win this contest. Okay, yeah, everything's out of there. Uh, you got the typical Kershaw paperwork, you know, whatever. I don't even know what that stuff's about. I've, I've never looked at the Kershaw paperwork. Damn. That is a good looking knife, dude. I had no idea they even made this knife in this style. So just like the other Sintafonte, actually this one doesn't have the pocket clip. I like that. Uh, I'm starting to get into knives without pocket clips. I almost took that Sabenza and ordered the titanium plug and removed the pocket clip. Uh, I just didn't order the that little plug replacement, whatever you want to call it. So let's see here. There we go. Ooh, wait. Now, anyone who has not held one of these knives it is surprisingly small. It is a little bitty knife, but that's cool. Makes it a perfect secondary EDC blade. It does have the lock back there. So you lock it in place like so and nothing. Lower that down, and you get that kick out. Uh, let's see. Again, a knife that is completely jimpless, which is fine, because for, for me, for a knife this small, I'm not going to be doing any heavy tasks with it anyway. I barely can get three fingers on it. That's the onion centifante. That is just totally cool. I love it. Let's see, it is a frame lock. Got a good lock up on it. Centering is damn near perfect. As you can see, it is this way to my right. Just the tiniest bit. Solid lock up, guys. No worries there. Uh, see, piece of paper, piece of paper. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to. Hold on. Let's 
give it a try. Well, I think I'd have to call that sharp, guys. What do you think? Oh, shit. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's sharp, no doubt. And I believe that is a Warncliffe style blade. Chances are I'm wrong on that, correct me it will. So that's the knife guys, that's what I won. The Kershaw Centifante Onion without the pocket clip and I love that feature, I really do. So that's cool. Uh, as always, in the description bar, you're going to find a link to Oil the Guns channel. Currently, my subscribers is about one-tenth, if not less than one-tenth of what his is. He's got a huge channel, very well known in the gun community. So there is a pretty good chance everybody who subscribed to me already is already subscribed to him. But in the off chance, you're not. Do yourself a favor, go over there, check his channel out. I guarantee you're going to like what you see. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.